This is like... <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mosa La Torre. Join the family. Hit that subscribe button. Today is another new in beauty. I'm back at it. Don't think that I'm letting this series go away. I've had quite a hectic month. Um, you guys will kind of know what's been going on behind the scenes soon. I can't wait to share all of that with you guys. Um, so it's been hard for me to stick to a normal filming schedule, especially New and Beauty, which is a weekly video series. But I'm back today with some really exciting stuff. Everything that I tried today is out of this world. And usually with New and Beauty videos, there's certain things I tell you guys. It's, it's not worth purchasing. It's whatever. Everything I tried today is freaking amazing. This skin, this eye look, this lip. It's all inspired by the makeup I was wearing on the NARS Florence trip. So the focus on that trip was the 25th anniversary of NARS the brand. I can't believe I was working at the boutique for the 20th anniversary and since then they have now expanded the lip collection to 72 lip colors. Maybe even more than that. Um, this is just in the original formula which comes in sheer, matte, Satin, there's also the Power Matte Lip Pigments, the Audacious Lip Collection. This lip color is something that just spoke to me and I could not stop wearing it in Florence. It is called Inappropriate Red. This is a matte formula in the original lipstick formula. And this whole look, I just, I love it. If you guys really loved um, the looks I was rocking when I was in Florence, um, you're gonna be really excited for today's video and really excited for everything that I'm using because it is amazing so let's get right into it I'm gonna be starting off with the eyes today because I am gonna be doing a winged liner and ever since my trip to Italy I have fallen back in love with eyeliner I don't know what it is I just decided to wear it a time when I was out there it just it set the mood set the vibe with a red lip and I fell back in love with winged liner I haven't worn it or I haven't if you guys watch my channel you know I don't regularly do winged liner so I'm a little rusty which is why whenever I'm going to be doing a winged liner I do the eyes first in case I need to clean it up which is very likely because I'm that rusty I'm going to be using this new naked uh, honey palette from Urban Decay it is so beautiful and I think this is going to be one of those go-to everyday palettes for a lot of people but it does have um, really nice pops of color not even pops of color but vibrant shadows like honey right here that'll allow you to do something a little more dramatic this darker shadow over here I'm going to stick with some of the neutrals um, to recreate the look that I was wearing in Italy so to start I'm going to take a large fluffy brush and I'm going to go with the most neutral brown which is hive right here and I'm going to toss it into the crease I just think Urban Decay does eyeshadow palettes so well. I mean, I feel like they are the ones that sort of started the trend in eyeshadow palettes with the original Naked palette. So I'm just always in love with all their Naked palettes. I think they're amazing, they're convenient, the shape of them, the shadows, the quality. They're just so great. And I just love the color palette in this one. Is there a bug in here? <laughs> oh, and I did prep my eyes with a long-wearing matte foundation and a little bit of the Smashbox Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder that I'm going to be using in today's video in case you're wondering what is on my eyelids. Some products on the eyes can look really heavy, so I like to keep it pretty minimal and I find that a really high-quality long-wearing foundation works best. Even better than concealer because even concealer can look a little heavy at times. And then with this tiny Real Techniques brush, I need to get multiples of this one because I really love this brush. I use it often and I can never find it because it's so small. But I'm gonna take this brush and pick up the color Sting, the darkest brown. And I'm gonna line this shadow along the lash line and then smoke it upwards. So that the wing looks a little smoky but not too smoky. So once I've gotten it packed on there, I'm taking that same brush I was using in the beginning and just blending it out. These shadows do blend out so super easy. If you've never played with the Naked palettes, the shadows are really blendable and buildable and I just think they're really user friendly. They're not intimidating. And even though the look I wore in Italy was more so matte, I do want to add or use a few more colors. So I think I'm going to use HBIC, HBIC, I don't know what the heck. <laughs> I'm going to use this one and put it on my lid. And I'm using a Sephora Pro Small Shadow Brush. That looks so good. Ra ra hoo la la. <laughs> We're gonna be using the House Labs Eye Liner. I just love the name. I think everyone does. 
I've been playing with this quite a bit. I think it's so easy to use. It is such a another user-friendly product. I think you guys are really, really gonna love this. And I think I just saw that it's number one or the number one selling eyeliner on Amazon. I love that she's making it available on Amazon, also available with Afterpay. I'm gonna go ahead and create this winged liner. You guys will see how easy it is to use this. I was honestly kind of shocked being someone that is quite rusty at winged liner since I'm just now getting back into it. It is a nice fine point felt tip liner and it comes out super black no matter what, look at that. So I actually kind of like to start right in the middle and go all the way across and then bring it back. Like, do you guys die? How freaking easy was that? For someone who's rusty, this is so good. And then I just kind of make it really thin and bring it all the way in like this by tapping it. It layers beautifully. It's dark as night. But are you guys honestly kind of shocked how easy that was? Crazy, right? Okay, moving on to the face, and then I'm going to go back to the brows and lashes and all that stuff. Um, I was going to use the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation, but I believe I have been using it a lot in other videos or on looks that I do on Instagram. I just absolutely love this foundation. I would say it's my current favorite. I love it. It's great. I'm shade light medium 13. So instead of using this today, I thought I would try this new Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. They did send me the full size but the full size is not in my sh <clears throat> not in my shade but they sent a bunch of minis and i'm somewhere between shade 340 and 330 this is 340 oak see how it's like a smidge dark but it has that olive undertone which is why i love it and then this is 330 bamboo which is a little more muted and i think it's a little too neutral for my skin tone but mixed together they're perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply both of these mixed together. I'm skipping primer because with my technique of working foundation into the skin with your fingertips, I find that primer just makes it look heavy. It makes it more textured. It makes it not look like skin. I'm going to take a paddle brush and mix the two colors together. See how perfect that is? That's like my exact skin tone when I mix them together. It's kind of crazy. And I'm just going to start applying it to the skin like so. And I always like to work in sections. So I'll get it on there. Oh my god, this looks so... Wow, this looks so freaking nice. Oh my god, dewy, full coverage. Wow, this is so nice. That gave me like an instantly flawless finish. I feel like nobody's really been talking about this foundation. I'm so impressed right now. Oh, my voice cracked. That's how excited I am. Wow. This looks so nice. I think I'm going to have to go buy the full size bottle of this. I am so impressed right now. Holy guacamole. I was planning on using this new Maybelline concealer, the Super Stay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. However, this Shiseido foundation has me shook, shooketh to the core <laughs> and I really want to try the concealer that they also sent over which is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer shade 301 medium. So I think I'm going to save the Maybelline one for another all drugstore uh, new and beauty video. I'm going to give this a try because I'm not a huge fan of the applicator. Reminds me of like a Q-tip. I think the color is going to be great for a highlighting color. It's going on really nicely. Like the texture, the formula is very similar to the foundation with obviously a little more coverage. I do wish the applicator was more so flat, like a flat dofa applicator, but it goes on like butter. So I don't mind it. Holy shit, you guys. Okay. I try not to curse here on my channel, but like Dude, I think this might replace my Kogendil Aqua Foundation. That's how good this looks. Like, I think this is like a no-fail foundation. I'm curious to see what other people think of it, especially people that like more of a fuller coverage because I feel like I'm pretty covered up right now, but it doesn't feel heavy, look heavy. The skin looks really fresh and dewy, and I feel like 
yes, there's a little bit of tackiness, so you do want to use powder. I'm almost nervous to use a new powder um, because this looks so good, but at least I'll know that if I use a powder and it starts to look uh, textured or uh, starts to not look like skin, I know it'll probably be the powder because this alone looks amazing. So I'm going to give this new Urban Decay Ultimate Brush Set and Go, oh wait, Ultimate Brush Off Set and Go Translucent Powder. This is the shade Universal. It does come in various shades, but I always tend to gravitate towards Universal. What I like about this powder is that it does come with a brush if you're into that, but if you also like to fully dip your brush or sponge into powder like I do, you can remove the cap and you just have loose powder just like that. It kind of satisfies everyone's needs. So I'm going to start by pressing it underneath the eyes to prevent any creasing. And then I will lightly dust it on the rest of the face. I'm curious if this is talc free. I've really been trying to do talc free for everything these days. So I'm going to also check that. Oh, and the coverage of the Shiseido foundation. Oh. This is really nice too. It just kind of melted into the skin. Everything today is so good. Today's video is going great. So I'm just dipping my uh, powder brush into the powder. You can use this. I'm not like a huge fan of, well, it feels kind of nice, but I just like something fluffier, whereas this has a flat top to it. So I'm just using my hourglass brush and I'm going to dust everywhere else. My skin right now looks so airbrushed I'm like so shocked so so shocked see this is why I love that I started doing this video series because I would have slept on this for so long because I get caught up in everything else that I'm doing that I forget to try new stuff I go to film a makeup look and I go with what I know because I want the look to come out looking the best version of what it can be and if I try new stuff I get worried that it might not end up looking good um, so by doing this every week I can sit down and just play with new stuff and just really see what's good what's bad what's you know worth purchasing and now I have like a new face routine that I'll probably use in future videos bronzer I'm gonna use a new bronzer from pure cosmetics this is bronzing act matte bronzer in light I always tend to go a little lighter with my bronzers and build on the color versus a darker bronzer and I definitely like something that has um, like a taupey undertone. I know this looks incredibly light but it has flecks that are darker. So let me just see what the color looks like and then if it's not giving me life I might have to switch over to a darker bronzer. So let's see. Oh yeah. Yes. So what's really interesting about this product is that the back says Sunburn alert. This product contains an alpha hydroxy acid AHA that may increase your skin sensitivity to sun and particularly the possibility of sunburn. I've never seen a powder with that in it, so I find that very interesting. Um, also curious to read up on this, but this bronzer looks amazing. It's great because you can also use this on the sides of the nose to add a little shading like so. This one does smell like chocolate, like cocoa, kind of like the Too Faced bronzers. Okay guys, I pulled up my Sephora app to look up the Shiseido foundation and it says that it is a lightweight foundation that synchronizes with skin and soft refreshes non-stop for a 24 hour just applied look and flawless finish. That is exactly how I feel right now. It is a medium coverage, the finish is a natural which is exactly what I was trying to say like a matte, not matte, like a natural skin finish. Um, and it's for normal dry combination and oily skin, SPF 30. I cannot say enough good things about it. Okay, the concealer from the same collection and it says a liquid concealer that diminishes the appearance of imperfections and provides medium to full coverage with a 24 hour wear natural finish, medium coverage, finish is natural and great for all skin types. Now for a highlight, I'm just gonna give myself a light mist. I'm actually gonna use this new Cover FX Rose Quartz Defense Crystal Infused Elixir Mist. It's more of a uh, skin nourishing mist, not a setting mist. They also have this Aquamarine Hydrating Crystal Infused Elixir Mist. This is the first time I've seen a uh, or seen any sort of crystal being used as skincare. I'm just going to give myself a light mist. The mist that comes out of here is so incredibly fine. It feels like like you're walking through one of those like misters at Disneyland, you know? <laughs> I always like to mist before highlighting so that way the highlighter goes on a little more dramatic. I'm going to be using this new Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter. There's several shades in this guy. Let me show them to you. Very, very glowy. 
I look I like the various undertones in here you got like a pink a beige a gold I think I'm gonna go for definitely not these two I always like the more like beigey toned ones I'm gonna use the shade lit right here kind of reminds me of a similar undertone to opal like that beigey undertone which tends to work really well for my skin tone so let's give it a try We are on a streak today. Everything has been so nice. I'm so impressed. My hair has been going through a bit of a dry spell, but <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna put this on my brow bone as well. I'm gonna show you guys um, a really great, easy to use dry hair mask from IGK that I've been using um, that just came out and I really like it when your hair feels like straw, like mine does and you need a refresher. So I'll pull that out towards the end of this video. But yeah, this highlighter is really nice. Some of them are a little more glittery than others. I think this is the most natural looking one and probably like the most universal aside from the gold one. But it definitely is giving me that nice glossy finish. And then um, to let everything, well actually I'm gonna do blush and then let everything sink in afterwards. I personally have never tried them. The um, Physicians Formula Butter Blushes. I love the butter bronzer, so I have a feeling this is a very similar formula. I'm gonna go with this one in the middle. I'm gonna use the shade Copper Cabana as my blush and I'm just gonna use the other end of the hourglass brush. Ooh, this is so nice. And I'm still all about that over blush and taking it all the way up here. A lot of you guys weren't fans and I totally get it, but I personally am just really loving it. Wow, this is such a great color. I feel like this is such a summery look and we're going into fall. Okay, I'm going to mist myself again with, let's try the other one. Let's try the Aquamarine Hydrating Crystal Infused Elixir Mist from Cover FX. There's no such thing as too much mist. This is a hair mask I wanted to share with you guys. It's called Antisocial Overnight Bond Building Dry Hair Mask. This to me is essentially like a dry conditioner. I always talk about dry conditioners and how they are a lifesaver for my dry hair, especially right now. So even though it's called a mask, I use it daily, morning, night, anytime my hair feels dry. And it goes on and it feels wet, but it doesn't change your hairstyle. I'm gonna spray it. Even on the sides where there's a lot of frizz. So while we let that mask settle in, I am going to work on finishing the eyes. So I'm just gonna add some more eyeshadow to the lower lash line, starting with the lighter one and that same little Real Techniques brush. And then a little bit of the darker shade Sting, just on the outer edge. And for an inner corner highlight, I actually think I'm gonna use the face highlighter. I always like face highlighters as an inner corner highlight. They end up looking more natural and cohesive with the rest of the makeup. I'm gonna go in with Lit and apply it to this inner corner. I have been dying to use the uh, brow collection from e.l.f. I know um, Roxette and Yes partnered with them. Roxette is actually the one that introduced me to the e.l.f. brow pencil and it's actually pretty comparable to the Dior one that I use all the time. I like my brow pencils to be on the drier side because I have such thick brows that a really creamy product can make my brows look really heavy. So I like something that's a little drier, a drier formula. So I'm gonna be using the clear brow gel as well as the brow pencil. I like something that's really ashy because my actual brow color, it's so dark, then I'll have a black eyebrow afterwards. So I like to stick with something that's a little lighter. So good so so good and then the clear brow gel so it's actually eyelash and brow which I actually like because sometimes when I'm doing like a natural look or something not even like a natural look but like a no makeup kind of day but I still want the lashes to kind of look accentuated I do like to toss something on just to hold them up Ooh, this brow gel um, so I do need um, a lash so first I'm gonna go in with mascara let me grab a new mascara I'm actually pretty surprised I haven't used this one yet, the new Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. I've seen a lot of great reviews about this. Everyone that has this on their lashes, it looks amazing. So I'm going to use that and also whenever I have winged liner, I do curl my lashes because when I add a strip lash, I normally only add it to the edges. If not, it's really uncomfortable for me. I'm going to add the mascara. I do like the brush and the formula. It's 
the kind of brush and formula that I look for. Even though this mascara is really lengthening my lashes and giving them volume because of the liner, you can't really see that. So that's why I still go in with the strip lash. But the mascara is really nice. Two other things I want to share with you guys before I get into the lips. I was adding my Laura mascara. I did add um, a strip lash just to the very end. I wanted to show you um, one major thing, for me at least. The NARS eyeliners are now sharpenable. Back in the day when I worked at the boutique, they were automatic and I still have some of the automatic ones here. So they were roll-ups like this. Look at, look at that, okay, amazing. So whenever I'm wearing a strip lash, I always make sure to tight line. It further makes it blend in with your lashes. And then I also just wanted to toss a gold um, liner into the waterline. I found this one from Tom Ford, it is the Shade and Illuminate Eye Coal Duo. And it's like a really pretty bronzy shade that I thought would look great in the waterline. I'm just gonna add it for a little bit of shine. And for the grand finale, da -da -da, I am going to be using the best red, aside from Don't Stop, from NARS also. NARS just makes such amazing lip products. The brand did launch originally with just lipsticks. So when you look at this little handy dandy guy right here, oh my gosh, where is that guy? The red that I want to show you guys is called Inappropriate Red. I'm going to just apply this as is, no lip liner. It is matte and with most matte lips, I feel like I don't need a lip liner, especially with something that's this pigmented. So I'm just going to pop her on. I also love, oh, so good. I also love lips that look like velvet and that's the finish that this gives you. This look today, you guys know I usually give you a recap at the end as to what was worth it, what really caught my eye. Everything in today's video is amazing. Nothing was bad, nothing, absolutely nothing. Everything in this video I would definitely continue using in future tutorials and repurchase. I always do this to try to not get any, get any lipstick on my big old teeth. For the grand finale, we are gonna top everything off with this incredible new fragrance from NARS, their first ever fragrance. It's called the Audacious Fragrance. The smell of the tiara flower just brings back those wonderful memories of being in Bora Bora. So for the grand finale, I'm gonna give myself a spritz and call it a day. It smells even better once it sinks into your skin. All right, guys, that completes this video. I really, truly have nothing bad to say about anything that I used today. Everything that I put on my face is A+, plus, worth your money. I mean, I think this all speaks for itself. Definitely check out everything I use in today's video. It will all be linked down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, share it, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.